Hello everyone. Today's reading is going to be a pick a card reading for what's coming towards you in love, March 2020. I have three piles here, um, group one, group two, and group three. Group one has this beautiful crystal. Group two has a stone in the shape of a heart. And group three has this amethyst. So just take a deep breath, focus on thinking about what you want to know, what you feel you want to come towards you. Close your eyes, take a deep breath. And when you open your eyes, choose the group that calls you first. I'll see you guys in whatever group you choose. Feel free to pause the video uh, to have more time. Starting with group one, who had the white, clear kind of crystal. It's very beautiful, and I love it because it's kind of imperfect, but still beautiful. So let's see what cards you got. The first card is Take a Chance on Love. When we love, our lives are changed forever. Beautiful energy. Second card is a door to personal healing and happiness. So I definitely feel like for some of you, this is a new love coming in or a possibility of a new love. Uh, something that you need to take a chance on is also what I'm seeing here. Your next wish, your next wish, <laughs> Your next card is wishing well. I was thinking about a wish, make a wish. This is again all about desiring something, wishing for something to happen with wishing well. Okay, next I have observers. So you might have your eye on someone or vice versa. Um, you could be someone else's wish as well. Next is no need to worry. What beautiful energy. I feel like there's something coming towards you that's meant for you with no need to worry. First tarot card is nine of cups, which goes very well with wishing well. 10 of cups, beautiful. Two of Cups, Knight of Swords, Death, and King of Cups. All right, so right away what I see here is some sort of transformation taking place because you've gotten your wish. Um, some of you are observing someone maybe on social media or at work or at the gym or at school or something where you can actually see someone. Uh, some of you are just kind of out and about looking for love, um, but it hasn't happened just yet. With door to personal healing and happiness, I'm also getting some of you could be opening yourself up to love, maybe after something difficult has happened um, and taking a chance on someone here. Someone, again, that I feel you might already know or um, whoever this person is that you're manifesting, they have everything that you've been wishing for, you know, the characteristics that you've been looking for in a partner. I feel like um, maybe someone here mirrors you and with the two of cups, someone sees relationships like you do or approaches relationships like you do. Um, this could be a potential soulmate or just someone that you just really get along with. There's an instant connection. There is passion. There is unity here with the two of cups. And with Nine of Cups and Ten of Cups here, I really get that your wish is 
to have a family, to be in love, to have something stable, to be happy. Um, the Ten of Cups is emotional fulfillment. So um, kind of like your cup is overflowing with the Ten of Cups here. And this is very beautiful energy. Um, with the Knight of Swords, I feel like you might be getting a message from someone speaking their truth about how they feel or perhaps this is someone who um, maybe wants to take things fast or this could be like a whirlwind romance with the knight of swords um knight of swords is you know he just wants to get to the truth he wants to get things moving um so this could be something that maybe moves quickly for you with death here it could be um a scorpio someone with scorpio in their chart or it could just be again you know the the transformation of something for something new the ending of something for something new to come in i feel like with door to personal healing and happiness maybe your window or your door was closed maybe you closed a chapter and now you're ready to open another door and walk through that with king of cups i'm getting this is someone who is very emotionally mature could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. Um, this person is very loving, very attentive, very compassionate. They have no problem expressing their emotions, how they feel. I feel like this person would be very open with you in terms of, you know, how you feel about each other, um, how you feel about the connection. So that's very beautiful energy. With the angel answers here with no need to worry, I feel like a lot of you have been wondering if love is ever going to come in for you. Some of you have probably been worried about past relationships that didn't work out and you're kind of wondering if you're ever going to have something special again. I feel like this is spirit saying not to worry. They have someone in mind for you. Um, just take a chance. Would take a chance on love again. I feel like this might not be someone who's your typical type. Um, I feel like this might be someone that you weren't expecting to fall for or someone where you have to kind of let go and trust, um, have faith in, you know, the potential of something because this is taking a chance here. When we take a chance, there's always a risk. So this could be someone who, um, again, I don't feel like right away you would be into this connection. I feel like you would have to take a leap of faith here for this connection. Um, this also is making me think of the fool energy of the tarot deck. Um, someone who is very light the baggage has been left behind and they're ready for a new journey. I feel like whatever journey you're on, um, whoever you end up meeting here, I feel like they're going to make you very happy with the Ten of Cups. You might even start a family. Um, and I feel like this person is just everything you've desired. They happen to be exactly what you needed, maybe not what you thought you would have or maybe not the person you've always pictured in your mind but they tend to be or end up being exactly the person you needed for you um they make you very emotionally fulfilled and just i feel like this is deep love a very deep union here and i love this energy so that's group one i'm going to move to group two now Hello group two, you chose this beautiful white heart. So let's see what messages we have for you. First card is have patience. Love is patient and kind always. Okay, next message is making a choice. Interesting. Next message is indecision. So that goes very 
um, well with making a choice. So there's definitely some of you who are kind of at a crossroads here or will have to make a choice uh, when it comes to your future partner. TikTok. I love that we have TikTok with half patience. That's just so funny to me. <laughs> Maybe that's why spirit saints have patience because you're kind of like, you know, what is, when is this going to happen? Um, when is this person going to be here or, um, you know, kind of like feeling impatient. L last Oracle card is romance. That's beautiful energy here Two people coming together. Okay. So I definitely feel like there is someone that has to make a choice feeling undecided, feeling maybe like time is running out or feeling like impatient for romance um someone needs to have patience either with someone else that they know or with their current relationship or just have patience with themselves Let's see what the tarot messages are first card is ten of pentacles this is long-term stability um marriage family financial stability as well kind of like the pinnacle of success there with the ten of pentacles justice could be a libra that you're dealing with doesn't have to be but i feel like this is um this is i feel connected to making a choice because justice is all about getting to the truth of something and making the right decision um being objective weighing your options um and then there's like that final decision being made that's right and fair to you. You could be uh, dealing with someone in the legal field. It doesn't have to be. Again, this could also be um, talking about marriage here because justice, you could be signing a marriage contract or a license for marriage or something like that. The Fool, beautiful. All about a new beginning, a new journey. Um, going on a on a journey that takes trust and faith um so you have to take a leap on something um go on a journey without knowing exactly where it leads that's what i'm trying to say there i feel like maybe your decision is tied to this to making that it's a making a decision maybe to go on a journey to start something new to take a leap of faith to take a risk queen of wands this is all about action passion attraction creativity could be a fire sign here aries leo sagittarius page of wands definitely a message here um a message a passionate message or a message based on um, the urge to begin something new and it's like that initial chemistry, that initial first steps, that initial message that you send out because you want to see where this goes. Last message is seven of wheels. So this is seven of pentacles, which is all about waiting and wondering if something is going to pan out looking at your past wondering if you put in the effort into something that you should have um, wondering if something's going to grow with the seven of pentacles here i feel like some of you have been wondering if love is ever going to show up for you if you're ever going to get that message to start something new here i feel like you are i feel like you just have to be patient I feel like love is meant for you, um, but sometimes the best things for us take time with TikTok up here. And whatever it does, whenever it does come to you, whenever you do meet that person, I feel like it's going to be a forever type of love. It might have taken a while to get to you. Um, it might have been a long time that you either are single and waiting to meet someone or maybe a long time that you're actually with someone and then it develops into something long term but whatever it is it's going to be long lasting with the ten of pentacles this is the people that uh, or the family that have been together for a really long time that have put effort into their relationship 
They're financially stable because they work together so well. So I definitely feel like whoever you meet, it will lead to marriage. Um, maybe you're deciding with making a choice and indecision if, if the person you're with is the person for you with the Seven of Pentacles. Almost like looking at your partner and wondering, is this it? Is this the person for me? Feeling undecided, perhaps. Some of you are waiting for someone to pop the question with TikTok and patience. I'm sorry, guys. Those are my dogs. Please excuse them. They keep trying to play with me and bring me toys and things like that. So please excuse them. They don't know that I'm doing a video for you guys. So I definitely feel like some of you, again, are waiting for someone to pop the question, wondering if someone's going to take that step, send that message about, you know, making this a steady relationship. Others of you are thinking about leaving a relationship to start a new one with the fool here. I feel like when you do, um, that might bring a new passionate romance in with the Queen of Wands and the Page of Wands. Um, I feel also like a lot of you have put in a lot of effort into a connection, perhaps. And it's like you're not getting the 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 rewards of your labor the fruits of your labor that's it because in the seven of wheels here he's like planting those wheels and wondering like why isn't anything growing so some of you could be going through that and might be deciding to go after something new here others of you this is a new relationship coming in and it's you're taking a leap of faith on someone. You're going with your gut, with your initial instinct here with Queen of Wands, Page of Wands. It's a strong, passionate connection is what I'm getting. And I do feel like it will lead to marriage. Um, but I do get that spirit is saying to be patient and wait and see um, what could grow from this connection. Don't rush anything. Again, this person could have some sort of legal job or you could be in the legal field or there could be some sort of um, situation where this person has a, an official position or something like that where they make decisions is what I'm trying to say there. Others of you are trying to get into this energy in order to make this decision you have to make. You want to be objective and decisive all right so that's going to be group two i'm going to move on to group three hello group three you chose this purple amethyst a beautiful stone there or crystal you should say all right so let's get to your messages first message is miracles and blessings everything has its gift beautiful Next message is magic prayer. Interesting. Magic prayer is all about having an answered prayer. And I think with miracles and blessings that, that those two go very well together. Door to romance. Okay. Some of you are walking through a door right to romance. Milk and honey. Beautiful. I love this energy with milk and honey. This is about kind of having abundance and love and friendship and harmony and you know all the good feelings in the world within the next few months is the final oracle card here interesting something could be happening within the next few months this door to romance might open within the next few months so let's get to the tarot and see what messages you have here the world wow okay starting off strong here and the star, beautiful. Sign of Aquarius with the star here. Three of Cups, all right. Ace of Cups, okay, definitely new love here. Six of Cups, you could definitely be connecting with someone from your past with the Six of Cups and the Three of Cups, kind of a reunion there. 
and temperance. Love it. So temperance is really making me think of the star. This is um, very healing energy. Having patience, filing, finding balance. Beautiful. So what I'm seeing here is you guys are getting an answered prayer within the next few months here. I feel like the door to romance will be opening for you and it's going to be a very abundant love, possibly with someone from your past with the six of cups or a past life connection, a very, um, it's almost like you're not going to re it's, it's going to feel like a miracle meeting this person with miracles and blessings here. Because they're just too perfect for you. It just fits so well. This could be a Sagittarius, an Aquarius. It could also be a water sign. Um, I feel like this love is, if you're already with someone, this love is going to feel new. Um, because there's going to be a healing energy to this love. Some of you have been making a wish or praying for something like this to come your way. A lot of you have healed from a situation and it's opened that door to romance and it's going to be everything you wanted and more with milk and honey. I mean, period. That's really what milk and honey is all about is having everything and feeling secure and happy. With the world here, I do feel like you're stepping into a new cycle, maybe closing a chapter to start something new. Uh, some of you are probably trying to get some closure as well or are going to get closure with this past connection. Others of you are just ready for something new, for a new cycle, a new beginning. Um, I feel like you've learned a lot from your past relationships and now you are ready to invest in something new. I feel like you're ready for that. I feel like some of you probably were trying to keep hope, keep faith alive, um, trying to be positive, trying to work on yourself as well. Um, and I feel like now the universe is giving you a gift for that, for doing that. I feel like with temperance here, this, in this deck, this picture of this, um, it looks like a man here. It looks like the emperor. Um, it reminds me a lot of the hermit energy. So I feel like some of you have been alone for a long time or have been healing for a long time here with temperance. Almost like you went on a personal journey of healing here. For a small number of you, um, you have children with this person or will have children with this person with the Six of Cups. Or someone from your past is going to give you this a big ace of cups here. Could be from a water sign, but doesn't have to be. Um, with three of cups, this is also about celebrating. Um, this could be someone in your friend group, someone in your work group, um, someone you meet at a party, someone you meet at some sort of celebration. Um, or this could definitely lead to an engagement or to a wedding with the Three of Cups because there's something to celebrate here. You could be celebrating the fact that you've met the one. You could be celebrating with your friends and family that you got engaged, something like that. I feel like if you haven't met this person yet, you're going to meet them within the next few months here with this Oracle card. And I don't know if you can see, but there's like steps in this photo. Um, steps leading up to what looks like a temple. Um, this is reminding me of like walking down the aisle here. 
Some of you could be getting married within the next few months and others of you are just going to meet that special person within the next few months. Um, with door to romance too, I just want to point out that in this photo, there's a heart inside of a cage. I feel like some of you um, have locked your heart away here and someone is going to take that key in that photo and actually open that cage and, and get to you. I feel like maybe some of you have been protective of your heart, haven't been wanting to give it to anyone else, maybe because of your past. And this person is just going to be that answered prayer, that wish being granted, and you'll let them in. You'll open the door for them is what I'm getting. So that's very beautiful energy, group three. Thank you to everyone who participated in the pick a card reading. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.